Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. That is going to be a long road to recovery. Goodness. I mean, the destruction is incredible. It's, it's, it's incredible. You get a chance to check out some of the videos there that they're flying along the beachfront, all these buildings just destroyed. Yeah. Just amazing. Yeah. But anyway, here we could use a little bit of rain, but the weather's been nice overall, but could use some water. Yeah, it's come at that price that uh, we are awfully dry. The fire danger continues to rise and we need rain. Uh, we will have our next chance early next week. But in the meantime, it's a quiet, dry Friday night. It's been awfully warm out there as well, and that likely won't change too much overnight tonight. We'll take you out to the shoals. We're at 68 degrees this evening. Winds are light and will remain light throughout the night tonight. Now, if you're heading out to any of the mini trunk or treat uh, events going on on Saturday, you can expect more of that warmth. We'll see temperatures quickly warm to the mid 70s by 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. 80s expected throughout the afternoon and staying warm again on Saturday evening as well. So yes, it's going to be a dry day, but certainly warm for this time of the year. We'll be pretty close to record highs tomorrow with a high of 85 in Huntsville, 85 in Muscle Shoals and 84 in Decatur. Tomorrow's hot record high in Huntsville is 86 set all the way back in 1940 for Sunday might uh, cool down a couple degrees, but still low to mid 80s expected well above our average highs, which are in the low 70s this time of the year. Now, cooler air will be here before we know it, so take advantage of the warmth while we have it. As far as rain is concerned, other than perhaps a sprinkle or two late tonight, we're not going to see a drop of rain until Monday. In the meantime, we'll see a mix of cloud cover and some sunshine on Saturday. More of that to come on Sunday. Tennessee will have a fair amount of rain this weekend, but it stays to our north until we finally get to Monday when the cold front is finally expected to arrive. The initial chance at rain will be in the shoals right around lunchtime on Monday. Again, this does not look like it'll be horribly heavy, but uh, there's possible a possibility of some light to moderate showers on Monday afternoon around the shoals. Eventually, that rain will start to skirt to the south and east a little bit more, so it will be Monday night that many of us have our best chance at this rainfall, and some of that could stick around Sand Mountain area early on Tuesday, but should be gone by midday Halloween, and certainly looks like it will be dry in time for trick-or-treaters. This does not look like it's going to be a drought-busting rain by any means. In fact, most of us getting less than a quarter inch of rainfall. If anyone gets more than that, it's going to be around Lauderdale or Colbert counties, and even then, that's not a guarantee. So yes, the moisture helps, but we need a lot more of this, and there's just not a lot of it in the extended forecast. The front responsible for that rain is going to clear on through and behind it. Some of the driest air we see any time of the year is expected to move in by the middle of next week. So we're talking low relative humidity, wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour, and the ongoing drought. That combination means a high fire danger remains in place next week, especially next Wednesday is a day I am concerned about for more of those wildfires that we have seen time and time again the past couple of weeks to become again out of control heading into next week. Even this weekend, uh, we are going to be uh, on heightened alert for that fire danger. Please do not do any burning in the meantime until we get some improvement. Might seem counterintuitive that we have a fire threat with the cold weather that's coming our way, but those will be hand in hand. Take a look at our forecast lows for Huntsville on Tuesday night and Wednesday night near or just below freezing. That would certainly be our coldest temperatures of the year so far. Even Thursday night may pose a uh, threat for some patchy frost out there uh, later on next week. As far as your highs go, we're going to dip down to the 50s on Halloween and the first day of November next Wednesday. A slow climb back to the 60s and 70s as we wrap up next week.